Good day guys, it's Zach here from the Raw Cave. Today we have special guest John Ellerman in the studio. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Zach. Cool. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and for those who don't know John, he's one of Australia's leading microbiologists. So he's an expert in gut health and gut uh, digestion digestion and uh, with over 45 years of experience we've got a whole bunch of questions for you and uh, we're gonna break this into three videos uh, for you guys at home it's gonna cover everything from the beginning beginnings of uh, gut health and bacteria so if you're an absolute beginner this is for you or whether you're an expert and you've been doing this for a long time you're gonna get a lot of information out of this uh, whether you're a mom or an athlete as well we're gonna cover everything in between so, um, maybe we'll just get straight into yeah, this. Yeah, go straight into it. Yeah. Uh, if you just want to quickly share with, you, to share with us a little bit about your background. Okay, well, science graduate from the University of Sydney, and uh, my introduction, if you like, to probiotics was um, because I was a dairy microbiologist, so I was, yeah. spent seven years, for example, working uh, dairy farmers, looking after yogurt cultures, and so on. And then the majority of my career, it was in the fermentation of cultures used in the dairy industry, including probiotics. And uh, so uh, I've been on uh, the management committee uh, of a government funded cooperative research centre, mm -hmm. which uh, had major projects in probiotics and prebiotics. Yep. And that was at the University of New South Wales. I've also been um, on advisory board for University of Western Sydney and so on. So, um, yeah, most of my career it's been in, in cultures and it's led naturally into specialising in these probiotics and finding out a lot more about gut health. Mm. And interestingly, I was propelled uh, particularly into this area some years back when I had a Giardia problem. Okay. And so I had, excuse me folks, I had explosive diarrhoea. And uh, yeah, these things <laughs> happen to the nicest people. Uh, and uh, I was given an antibiotic called Flagyl which destroyed that protozoan parasite, but left me with collateral damage to my microbiome, the other bacteria in my gut. Mm -hmm. And so I then had normal diarrhea and I had to develop a formula basically to treat my own problem. Mm. And uh, also along the way, uh, uh, using it for that and controlling that very effectively, I uh, found that it also uh, controlled uh, my asthma and my hay fever as well, so totally switched it off. So it was uh, extra benefits. So and you know gut microbiology is at the center of everything in terms of health and even who we are our personalities are influenced by it our brain development was influenced uh, by our gut bugs and in fact when you consider the fact that we are 90 percent by uh, by cell count we're bacteria uh, mm. and only 10 percent human we've got 10 trillion human cells in our whole body and 90 trillion bacteria. Right. Uh, and these bacteria... Uh, have a mind of their own. They, exactly. <laughs> they're, uh, we're hosting them. They're living off the food that we feed them and they're very happy down there. Thank you very much. Uh, but they're having tremendous impact on everything from depression to obesity right. to uh, anxiety, you know, all these mental problems. Mm. Um, the way we handle drugs even, you know, uh, prescription drugs. Um, some people don't get benefits from some drugs because they've got different gut bugs, all sorts of things. Right. And in fact, my GP says everything starts with the gut. Mm. And he's also a naturopath, so he knows what he's talking about. Awesome. And, uh, and I say, more particularly, everything starts with the gut bacteria. Right. That's what determines everything. Interesting. And as we feed ourselves and we're feeding them, we're determining exactly what they're doing down there and what they're producing yeah. and what damage they're doing to us or what good they're doing to us. Yeah. And one of the big problems has been in recent generations is that we now have antibiotics which have been a tremendous lifesaver. Mm. Uh, I'm not against antibiotics, they've saved millions of lives, but they've also done, as I said in my case, damage to our microbiome, all our gut bugs. That's and the complete ecosystem down there. That's that complete ecosystem down there. <clears throat> and uh, so we need to do something. Many people now, probably more than a third of the people that you come across mm -hmm. have got gut issues of some sort. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that's cascading into a whole lot of other health issues yeah. that you wouldn't automatically think were to do with the gut. Even things like um, diabetes, for example, and heart disease and so on. Mm. It's... Uh, Diet can be important, of course, 
but the major issue that's confronting us and the major impact is coming from the types of bacteria in our gut. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Mm.